All right, hi everybody. Uh, we're some of the zookeepers. We just finished our brainstorming session. My name is Patrick. I help kind of organize the thing. You'll see me in a lot of these. We got a couple more of the crew member crew members here, and we'll introduce you to the rest of them as we get through the more videos. But without further ado, I'm John. I'm on the programming side of things. I'm Dr. Andy. I'm also on software. I'm Morgan. I'm on the mechanical side. All right, so like I said, uh, we just finished brainstorming ideas that reveal uh, was pretty great. Uh, I think we, we got some good ideas. So <clears throat> to kind of recap what our brainstorming uh, accomplished, as we said, for drivetrain, it's pretty simple. There isn't anything in this game that requires a super precise uh, lining up kind of a, in, a, in a left to right uh, fashion. So we're just going to go with normal old tank drive. That's the easiest thing for us. We have parts on hand. Uh, we're actually going to use a kit chassis from a couple years ago. Um, but it should be real similar to the kit chassis that a lot of you guys are going to get in your kit of parts now. Uh, we aren't going to do anything fancy with it. I think we'll end up with uh, six inch wheels <coughs> to keep the speed up uh, and just everything pretty standard with that. But we also uh, decided for the game, uh, the strategy we're going to go with is we're going to try to put uh, the cubes on the upper, on the uh, scale. Uh, we assumed most teams would be able to get to the switch, so we wanted to try uh, the higher part of the scale. We considered launching cubes up there versus setting them up there. Uh, we said uh, we wanted to launch, we kind of debated that for a little while, some catapults or a linear punch or something like that, but we sort of thought about what we have on hand, and that was going to be an issue. Uh, we didn't have all the components, we didn't have big springs, things like that. Uh, so we're, we ended up going uh, with a lifting mechanism, and we debated a few different things. We debated doing a mast. Um, like a series of 80-20 uh, masks that would rotate up and down, uh, similar to a lot of teams what they did in 2011. So, but what we're actually going with is uh, what Robo Wranglers did in 2007. Uh, it's an actuating arm that pivots from down to up, uh, kind of like a desk lamp. Uh, that's our plan for now. Um, so like I said, drivetrain is underway right now. I'm, what I'm working on is going to be generating a CAD model for that. Uh, Morgan is working on our, our other end effector for that mechanism, which we'll be picking in the uh, the cubes and she's going to talk about that a little bit. So we're going to prototype basically two different mechanisms, a stationary forklift where you have two flywheels spinning on the outside, but since the um, boxes that we'll be picking up aren't perfect cubes, uh, we have, we're going to also prototype something with a pivot that rotates out so you can go around the cube to get more into it. Uh, on the software side, uh, we're going through and initializing all of the I.O. that we have for this design. Uh, we're doing our development lab view, and so we're working inside the begin VI. We've also set up some general stuff in Teleop and others uh, with the state machine to read all the input first and then go through each output and calculate kind of the requirements. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's where we're going. We're going to be working on prototypes today. You'll see an update on how those went tomorrow. and. Uh, We'll go from there. See you guys next time.